Hey, what's up guys? So I am back here again with another video for you. So this is my XRT. I just got done uh, giving a little bit of TLC, a little bit of love. Got to tighten up that belt and uh, yeah, inst install the new front skip plate. Because uh, yeah, I broke the last one and I didn't bother to order it and it finally came in. So I had to put that in. I thought, well, let's just check everything else while we're here. So anyways, that's not why we're here today, but that is uh, just one thing that I finished up with. And I thought, you know what? I'm just gonna do a video and show you what I do when I go and do like touch up repairs or like I'll break something small and then yeah, I'll just fix, do a really small repair video today. So I'm gonna grab my C10 here. It's actually a slash, high center gravity sh slash. We will put it up on Z tire to get it up off of the bench, which that'll change eventually too. I'll get a better bench. All right, let's pop this custom trashed body that I did like a while back, but it's still rocking good. Funny thing is I found one of the, one of the, the little uh, plastic glass faux glass pieces out in the out in the grass from when I crashed a long time ago with it. I was like, oh, that was nice to find. Okay, so looks kind of sad. No batteries, dirty. And you're like, what's wrong with it? It don't look like it's broken. It's because it's really not. So it just needs to have a replacement of this little drive shaft right here because yeah success uh chews up those shafts over time and a lot of time because i've put in a lot of a lot of packs through this car and yeah for uh that to fail only made sense so uh we'll get the wheel off and uh yeah get that part out of there put the new one on and it will be ready to rip I may replace the other side too since uh, I don't, I want them to match. I don't like things to not match in some sense, you know, especially for parts. I'm not going to just kind of one on one side and then one of another on the other, you know, pairs, you know, and by all rights, I should replace the entire set of four, you know, four wheel drive car has four, probably should replace all of them. If one has failed, the other ones are going to be going behind it. You know, this is some of the mechanic, mechanic forward thinking that you have to have with any mechanical project. You know, I have to fit, kind of account for it, it, it to break, you know, because it's going to. And it has a limit, just like most things. You know, some things are unlimited, but that's kind of a relative thing. All right, so, yeah, it's just so sweet. No, not really. Okay, it's kind of hard to do this with uh, this kind of strange camera setup. And I'm like uh, a lot of new YouTubers and like I'm just not a cameraman. You know, I'm a mechanic. I don't, I can look at something and I, I can kind of figure out how to take it apart and put it back together and it's going to work again. Look at that, two shims. Better make sure I don't lose those. Yeah, dirty as sin. Ain't never been, I don't think I've ever cleaned in here since I got the thing, but you know, this, this is more of a toy than anything, but yeah, it's pretty gross. Sorry, I was doing that off of camera. Not trying to cheat you of anything. All right, let's grab the one and a half to get this off right here. Let me see if we can't get in there. Nice. Is that it? Is that the hole I'm looking for? In there? No, oh, that looks like the pin though. It's sticking up from the other side. Man, that thing's messed up. I think I'm gonna have to go get the uh, the steel ones. Yeah. All right, so, well, that's gonna be another video eventually. 
de depending on whether I record it or not. I'm kind of funny about recording videos. Like, I love to make content. Um, I love building. And, yeah, I, I'm all about this YouTube thing. Like, it's cool, you know? You get to pick what you want to watch. About the only thing I don't like about it is all of the ads. But I get it why they're there. Oh, come on. Is it that bad? Uh, I'm probably going to have to push on it from the other side because it's, it looks like it's wallowed out, kind of stripped. Not the screw itself. I mean, like, you know, the part. Because my driver goes in there just fine. All right, the shims, let's not lose those. That's twice now that I had to mention that to myself. Okay. So I'm trying to push on it from the back side while I try to back out the screw too. I may have to actually take this apart farther. I don't know. I need some better light. Let's go outside for a second. Yeah, I might just have to brute force this thing off. I mean, it's only a plastic part. Yeah, it's pretty far gone. I'm just gonna try to pop it off with my, my scribe. See if I can't do that. Not exactly the best way to do this. I, I prefer to use, you know, a regular method, but it's not coming off in the way it normally should, which it's definitely damaged. You know, let's not stab, or stab myself either. I think I'm going to have to use a knife and I'll just cut that little bit there and then. Let's see if a pair of pliers will get it. Actually, uh, you know, I'll try that. It's not exactly the, the smartest idea. If, I, if this don't work, I'll get my, yeah, I don't think that's gonna work. Let's see if I can do something with my flush cut pliers or my flush cut. Nippers. Let's not fight with this anymore. I'm just going to take it apart some more. Make it a little easier for myself. That's a two, I think.
Maybe I need another cup of coffee. Swing this out of the way. And once this comes off, like, it'll be really quick putting it back on because it's only like what you just saw me take off. Yeah, I don't like cutting parts off the car, but in this case, kind of kind of had to. I guess the screw wasn't coming out. Oh, there went that. Pew! That's all right. I'll find it later with my broom. As I clean regularly because... Oh, excuse me for a second there. This is how I am at home for the most part, barefoot. So, I try not to drop a whole lot. Often enough, I step on dog food because I have a little dog. A little chihuahua. I love him very much. He is awesome. Maybe he'll show himself during the video. I don't know. He's sleeping because it's Saturday morning, you know. And uh, yeah, my dog sleeps in <laughs> on Saturday morning for some odd reason. Spoiled little, spoiled little turd. Yeah. No, he's a happy doer and I love him. Yeah. I wonder if my pick will help me out now. So close. What a pain. That's all right. That's why I do it, because it's a hobby and it's fun. Not really, it's, it's, it's a different type of pain. It's more like it's, it's the challenge and it's like, oh yeah, I love it. And somebody is out there buzzing the weeds up, it sounds like. Yeah, if you guys are feeling my frustration, yeah, yeah uh, thank you, because it's just annoying. Come on, how many times I gotta slice this thing before it'll come off? It gotta be close. I tried been trying to cut it at the thinnest spot too.
Oh, look at that. That's great. Not good, but uh, better because now I can do the replacement easily. Yeah, save that little grub screw. And, uh, yeah, I'll break out these right here. So these are another one of them uh, Amazon buys. So these are Remo Hobby, the best brand in remote control, right? That's a set. Let's go. Yeah, I'm trying to do this through the camera. Not that smart. Can't, can't really. It's a different type of spatial reasoning. <laughs> All right. So. Just like that. Yeah, that's where that little grub screw grows. Yeah, focus. There we go. Yep, and put that through the end. And yeah. And look at them little bearings in there. Pretty sweet. Oh, maybe that's what it got popped off. Oh, that's the bearing cover that got popped off. Yeah, look at that. Maybe I should throw some grease or some oil in there while I'm at it. They don't look like they're dry, but. Yeah, that's definitely what that is. That's one of them sealed bearing things that just got, it came right open. How oh, interesting. All right. Well, that wasn't good, but that's all right. if I can use that one because this is a different shaft that's all right okay I'll grab this part that slid off and obviously the tolerances are somewhat tight or not because it slid off who oh, no, knows they're supposed to slide okay using this setup with this wonky neck device. But it does hold the camera so long as I don't mess with it too much. Or rather, it holds my phone. I'm using my phone to film this. All right, not quite aligned. And this is another good reason for why I have a pick. It's, it's an, a good alignment tool. That one hit the ground. Okay, and yes, there it is, I found it. Okay, let's try again. And people wonder why mechanics, why it takes so long with mechanic work. It's because, hey, we drop stuff and we make mistakes too. Uh, yeah, let's try to do that alignment trick again. So I did take it apart to check and see if I was hitting it right. And see, that's great. As long as I get that other pin in there.
almost there. Yeah, trying to do mechanic work through the screen is kind of a strange thing. All right. That's one. And yeah, that guy outside is really liking to make the big noise. Sorry, it's not easy to get to do work and try to aim the camera while I'm doing it so that you guys can kind of see what I'm working on. Yeah, someday somebody else will be doing the filming instead of me. Yeah, maybe that's why you guys don't see my face because I'm behind the camera. <laughs> You know, it's not like I wouldn't mind being in front of the camera. I'm, I'm, I'm not really camera shot anyways. You guys aren't here for my face. You're not here for my words. You're here just to see uh, maybe uh, some RC car work done. And that's it. All right. Just about ready here. There's that pin. There it is. It's a tiny little root pin. What's going on here? Do I have the wrong bearings? Was I supposed to pull that bearing out? Because I'm not seeing the whole. Let's look at the other one real quick and see what's going on. Because there should be. That's way in the back, back there. Yeah, that's got to go inside of there, I think. That's weird. Maybe I ordered the wrong ones. Yeah, because there's no way I'm going to be able to get the tire back on without that pin and that nut going on. And it is not exposed. Maybe I don't have it seated in there enough. Yeah, this may be uh, where it ends for this video because I'm at kind of a point where I might need to think about what's going on here because I ordered the right part as far as I know. Or maybe that's just my, my the problem I'm having right now anyways is because this bearing is apart. Maybe, maybe not, I don't know. Oh, I just want me to pop out. Uh...
Yeah, double bearings in there. Yeah, that's gotta come out that other way. All right, so we'll take out that bearing and then we'll put the other one back in on the outside. And now we'll put the shaft back in there because it has, right? So that's what I just said, put that back in. I took the other one from the inside out and this part right here, it's got a shoulder. I mean, like it looks like the inside of that. So I'm gonna put it through here and I have a feeling this will line up now and then I'll be able to put everything back together like it's supposed to. I have to have that bearing, I have to. Otherwise it's just gonna be flopping around can't not have a bearing. All right, see, ah, that shit fits without the bearing and I had to take the bearing out. That's so weird. That actually makes me not happy in some sense because that's one less bearing. I would rather have that bearing in there than have that part, that other part in there. But um, I'm gonna roll with it and yeah, we'll, I'll, I'll take it out for a rip afterwards and see how I like it. Cause I'm gonna be able to tell. You know, it's, it'll, it just, it won't be doing what it's supposed to. You know, it's bad enough that this happened, but I know why this happened. It's because this thing is a success car. Not success, it's 6S. <laughs> I don't know, it is kind of a success. Um, but for Traxxas, and it's just fun for me. Oh, come on, you wonky, wonky. That's going to be such a tight bit. Yeah, I don't even know if I can get, let's see. Yeah, we're in really good mechanic tools having this pick. Yeah, see now I've got it fully seated on, uh, as I did not have it before. I bet you that pin will go in a lot easier now if I could see where I put the, Again, Dan. All right, let's try to use this to my advantage. Yeah, this is uh, a lot more challenging than I thought. You know what? I think I'm going to put you all up on my other stand and so I can not have to, like, have you on this next thing. Um. 